hello guys welcome back to my channel today i am going to tell you one useful uh, tip in pega suppose you have done one change in a rule and while you are tracing it you found that uh, the rule is not picking that change and uh, you have merged the code into a rule set and even though you find that there is still uh, issue with the rule then what we have to do is we have to select an option called as revalidate and save so if you do that uh, rule will be revalidated and saved again and the catchy related to that particular rule will be cleared off so that it will pick the latest changes it is not advisable to do this every time it's like a just edge case scenario so go to configure system release upgrade validate i'm just pausing here so that you can have a look this is really used when you are facing issues with many rules so click on validate there is an option called as revalidate and save click this now what is the type the type of rule you want to revalidate and save suppose if you are going to validate section go rule html section suppose if it is an activity you have to search for rule obj activity so what is this uh, particular type what if i don't know the respect to rule uh, type simple it is just a class name go to record suppose if you are facing some issue with the data transform go to data model c you can click on data transform open a data transform go to actions view xml here search for p z i n s key see here the rule this is the class rule obj model so like that you can uh, get for example if you want to get a decision table click on the decision table instances open any one of the decision table click here view xml pz dynasty rule declare decision table okay like that you can search for the respective type i'm going back to the scenario now i want to revalidate and save a section now what is this your application might be having many rule sets right for example here you know the rule set zmart and if you know the particular rule set version give this check box and select the respective and memo this is so important we need to give some valid memo without any junk value now i am clicking on list see these many sections are there in this particular uh, rule set and in this particular version suppose if you want to revalidate and save all the rules just uh, keep this as all checked and click run and if you don't want that select uncheck all select the respective rule and click run see no bad status everything is fine with this section suppose if you find some bad status open the rule from here and uh, you check out that and uh, see uh, what is causing the issue hope uh, this would be very useful for you uh, while you are uh, building many rules in an application this would be very helpful for wired situations like uh, you would be seeing like in a development environment everything is working fine once you deploy in dt2 or uh, some uat environment you might be feeling like this rule is not picking the changes the rule catch is stick to the old version it is a good option to revalidate and save instead of getting tensed hope this is a good learning for you and an important interview question as well thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel share the channel and provide your valuable feedback